We need to be reminded now and then just how astounding it is what we are watching on a weekly basis right now. Because right now, a guy with the second best strikeout rate in the league is also the number one hitter in the game. With the injuries to Aaron Judge and Jordan Alvarez, Shohei Otani has become the number one force in baseball at the plate. This needs to be properly recognized. Let's show some respect and do a little digging in. I mean, when you saw him in his rookie year, it became obvious that Shohei Otani in his age 23 season could actually pitch and hit successfully in the U.S. major leagues. But to what extent? I don't know how many of us saw this coming on the mound, and I maintain he's a better pitcher than hitter. He started the year with a 0.64 ERA over his first five starts. He's had some rough starts since. His walk rate is near a career high, but he has not missed a start all year. He has 95 innings halfway through the season and an RA9 war. That's runs allowed per nine with an innings component mixed in. He is 10th best in baseball. His strikeout rate is a career high and is second only to Spencer Strider of the Braves in the majors. But where he started the year as a premier pitcher, it's now at the plate where he is separating himself. Otani leads all of baseball in home runs, OPS plus, and total bases. He also leads in triples, and he's second in RBIs. I don't know why the total bases thing blew my mind, but it did. Leading the league in total bases means you are showing up every day and producing. It's the mark of excellence and consistency. Halfway through the season, Otani has 205 total bases. He's on target for 400 total bases for the year. Not many guys outside of Colorado and the fellas from the testosterone era have done that. Stan Musial, Hank Aaron, Jim Rice, 1978, the MVP year. But this guy could do it while he's also pitching. If you recall a previous essay on this show, we said we have yet to see peak Shohei Otani. That's the ultimate season that he could have, you know, with him hitting the way he did in 2021. Then last year, it was his pitching that was better. His ERA plus is 172. 100 is league average, by the way. So both numbers are great. But now his hitting goes down, down, so to speak. Everything's relative to 144. So could you combine? This is what I was wondering. The OPS plus of 157, the ERA plus of 172, like the true greatness. This year, the OPS plus career high, way up at 182. That's an MVP right there. Best hitting year by far. ERA plus is down, so to speak, to 144. But he's kind of regained his stride on the mound. I think this number is going to be shooting higher and higher. Higher is better. This will get better. There's so much that this guy is producing right now. He's hitting 300 for the first time. His K rate is the best it's been, and he should set a career high in innings pitched while leading the majors in total bases. He leads the majors in war by a wide margin. You think that right now he's kind of at his peak in both? I, I think. I, mean, I don't know where, where we go. Um, it's fun to watch every day. I know that. I think he's, you know, done some things mechanically, uh, pitching wise, that uh, has, has helped him a little bit. And whether it's pitch mixing and uh, the game planning, I think that's that's been a lot better, if you will. Uh, but we've never seen what he's doing, so I don't know where, where it goes.